Who you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyal to you when you're at your worst We need to hit her all like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the earth. So, y'all got a question? You got a question? Yeah. 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 You said what? Oh, hey man, come on, hey, let me chop it up with you real quick. Yeah, let me chop it up with y'all real fast. Right, I'm going to ask you a question, man. Y'all believe in God? Right, so, in believing in God, do you know who the true children of God are? The Israelites? Who are the Israelites? I mean, like, who are they today? How you know that? Yeah. Say that? That's that's a tremendous point. You cannot hide a, a white man over there. I make that point a lot too. But right, let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse uh, 68. Right? Because I'll agree with you that black men are Jews. Black men are descendants of the tribe of Judah, Benjamin and Levi, but the rest of them are so called Hispanic tribes. We come from this man right here. Do you like you are, are you like uh, just a regular black man here? Like you know your descendancy from your father up? You don't know? Do you know your father? Is he just a regular black man? Is he is, is his grandfather is your grandfather a regular black man? You you a Jew that bro. Yeah. <laughs> You would do that. So let me show you something that's supposed to happen to the Jews. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now I'm showing you something that's supposed to happen to the true children of God. They're going to be brought into Egypt again with ships. Now the land of Egypt, you don't you don't need a, a boat to get there from, from Israel. You don't need that. Right? So this is talking about something happening in the future. How did we get over here to America? On what? On ships. That's them slave ships. That's what this is talking about. Because what happened to the Jews when they were in, in Egypt? Originally. Yeah. Yeah, what, what what was happening to us? There was a slavery, right? You seen the movie Prince of Egypt? So what this is going into is you're going to go into a future Egypt, right? A future captivity. Because even the word Egypt means monazarium. It means a, a, a between a rock and a hard place. Like captivity. You're... you're crushed up like this. So it means captivity. You're going to go into captivity on ships. We see that happening to us. Watch this. Since by the way the whereof I spake unto thee, mm -hmm. thou shalt see it no more again. Yeah. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be what? You shall be sold unto your enemies. Was we sold unto our enemies, brother? Why are we fitting this? Because people say, we like they, they got mad at Kanye West and Kyrie because they said right. black people are Jews. But we see black people fitting something that's supposed to happen to the Jews. Go ahead. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. Yeah. And no man shall buy you. So you're going to get brought into captivity again on slave ships. And when you get there, you're going to be sold for slave man and slave woman. What's that? No, no, I'm telling you, that, that this is proof who we are. Because you said, like, oh, black people are Jews, right? I'm showing you how you would prove that. Because we can just say something. Everybody got something they got to say. Everybody got their own opinion. But there's only one truth. One truth is this Bible, sir. This Bible says in Deuteron Deuteronomy 28 verse 68, it says the Jews are going to go into captivity on slave ships. We see that happening to us. So what we need to do knowing this, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Right. I'm going to show you how we get out of this. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Mm -hmm. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, yeah. which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So right now, we at the bottom, right? You look at black folks, you look at Hispanic people, you look at Native Americans. 
everybody's ruling over us. Everybody can just come over here and immediately have a business. Everybody can do whatever they want to us if they want to, and nothing happens, right? We're at the bottom. But for us to be at the top, you know how I said the first will be last and last will be first? We the last right now. If we want to be the first, we got to listen to God and keep his commandments. That's what we got to do. That's, that's what we are here to tell our people. The Christian church is not doing that. They, sh they shine you away from his commandments. They even got people saying like, oh, you don't even got to keep the 10, right? That's more than 10, but they say you don't even got to do that. That's ridiculous. They believe Christ died to where you can just now be a Satanist. That's what a Satanist does. They believe do as thou wilt. Right. That's, that's you saying like, I can do literally whatever I want. That's Christianity. Christ died. Oh, he died for my sins. I can do X, Y, and Z. How, okay, what's Christ like? How? What does that look like? How? Oh, exactly. Give me First First Peter two verse twenty one. Watch this. This is the book of First Peter chapter two and verse twenty one. Mm -hmm. For even here unto were ye called, yeah. because Christ also suffered for us, yeah. leaving us an example. That you should follow his steps. Yeah, what? Who did no sin. Who did what? Who did no sin. Yeah. Neither was God found in his mouth. So you're saying, right, you got to live Christ-like. Christ was our example who did no sin. He didn't break the laws of Moses. So what we need to do, if we're going to say we're Christians or followers of Christ, we need to keep the laws of Moses just like how he did. That's how you be Christ-like. It's not a, a, a real vague thing. You don't got to be something like that. Christianity is not about keeping the commandments, brother. Christianity is about this. This right here. This and this. That's not what I said. We don't believe that he's a so-called white man. I, I know, but I'm saying like in Christianity, if I type in Christianity right now on Google and hit images, I'm going to see this. This is not what Christ looks like. What comes with this is doctrines like you don't have to keep the law, doctrines like Christ died for everybody, and, and things like Trinity. Yeah, and, and that's and and you believing that, like how you said, like about the commandments, he was a dark skinned man, things like that. That's things Christianity does not teach though. They don't, they don't, they don't teach that. Most churches don't believe that, bro. Most churches. But I'm going to show you this, right? Do, do do the Christian church teach Christ died for every human being? He wasn't sent for every human being, but he did die for every human being. He died for, for what? For what purpose? But that's not that's not that's not an answer to my question. Hold up, hold up, brother, hold up, man, hold up, man. I'm saying this right. So what 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 uh, purpose did he die for? What is the purpose of his death? Yeah. So for what though? Let me just let me just clarify. Sins. He died for sins. Do you, do you know what sin is? What is sin? Does the Bible say that? Well, that that's not true either. Let me show you something. Get First John three verse three verse uh, four. You give me First John. I think it's chapter five where it talks about the sin of sin unto death. Well, then then if, if there are sins that are unforgivable, that means they're they're not equivalent. And also, then what Jesus done? Hey, hold man. Let me let me. I'm, I'm, I'm in a conversation. I'm in a conversation, bro. I'm in a conversation. Just let me let me show you let me show you something real fast, bro. Before you go, before you go, right? Let me just I just want you to know this. Get First John five verse three. All right. It's First John chapter five and verse three. Mm -hmm. For this is the love of God. Yeah. That we keep His commandments, mm -hmm. and His commandments are not grievous. Never forget that, brother. If, you, if, if there's anything you're gonna take away from this conversation, the way you love God is by keeping His commandments. That's Genesis through Deuteronomy. I'm, I'm, I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay, sister. Okay, sister. I would disagree with that statement, but okay. <laughs> good, good. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 8. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Yeah. Neither, inter neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Okay. 
brother, you gotta you gotta learn how to do that, man. You can't just be interrupting people in the midst of their conversation. Cause you made you made it to a you really made it to where he could just slide out like that when you interrupted him. With those tarot cards you got in your hand right there. Yeah, so I was wondering like I mean obviously I'm with all this. You can't be with all this. Oh, if you have tarot cards in your hand. I mean <laughs> well that's not the case. You those know, aren't tarot like, cards. They are. I'm not saying they're not. I'm saying that they are not. Uh, this is not you worship. You're not, not a wish to live. This isn't a worship of some other deity. Is that is that not uh, fortune telling? No, it's not. not. So so people don't fortune tell with tarot cards. I didn't say that. I said that's not what I'm doing. Okay. What I do is I communicate messages from God. That people may be yeah, that's using familiar spirits. That's against the Bible. And using... That's against the Bible. You know that, right? Where does it say that? I, I got you, I got you. Do you celebrate Christmas? Nope. Oh, okay, good. All right, cool, cool. So that's all I'm wondering is what are you guys exactly like? Give me, uh, give me oh. Leviticus 19, verse 31. Like, I'm with all this. Jesus wasn't white. He was Middle Eastern, not black. But, I mean, like... I'm How was he not black? This. How you know he wasn't black? Because he was from the Middle East. Oh, so, black people so black people can't come from the Middle East? I guess you got me there. <laughs> that was a quick good problem. But get, get, get that. Go ahead, get that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 31. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, mm -hmm. neither seek after wizards. That's that's what you're doing. I'm not yeah. doing magic of any kind. Read it again. It says, uh, regard not them that have familiar spirits. Do you know what a familiar spirit is? I don't. That's what I was curious that, about. Doing that. This that, is that, not a spirit that, of any kind. Okay, right. If you don't like that one, right? Because give me, give me uh, what I'll tell you to get. What I'll tell you to get. Uh, it's not I don't like. It's 22. that I'm not worshiping another deity of uh, any kind. 18. What did you just read? 22 and 18? Suffer not a wish. No, no, no. What did you just read? Uh, this is uh, Leviticus 19 and 31. Yeah, Leviticus 19 and 31 in the NLT. So it makes it clear. Yeah. What you got? Hold that. Right. Let me show you something. Let me put this in the NLT. I ain't had to pull this one out in a minute. All right. Go ahead. Start at verse... Now that's Sorry, another question that I have is which of those two versions is the oh, Hold on, hold on, we got it, we got it. Go Deuteronomy on. chapter 18 and verse 9. When you enter the land of the Lord, you, like it. When you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you, mm -hmm. be careful not to imitate. Imitate. What? The, uh, the, the detestable customs of the nations living there. Mm -hmm. For example, never sacrifice your son or daughter as a burnt offering. Yeah. And do not let your people practice uh, fortune telling. Fortune telling, but the people fortune do with, what with this is. but people do that I, with the tarot cards. Go ahead. There's or, more, there's more. Or, but, but before we finish this, what did you say you do with those cards? I bring a message that someone needs to hear. It's yeah, not you, you what's bring, happen so tomorrow. So psychics and omens, like what you do. It's not, it's not what's telling. gonna happen tomorrow. But is it like psychic, like being like a psychic or a, or a medium or omen? Within so you're, you're, put, you're pulling out omens, right? No. Yes, you are. Go ahead. It, it says, and to not let your people practice uh, fortune telling. Yeah. Or use sorcery. Yeah. Or interpret omens. Yeah. Or in and do what? Or interpret omens. That's what you're doing. When you're looking up in yourself and trying to show something out of a tarot card, that's interpreting omens. I'm only talking about them. I'm that's not still doing. That's still doing the same thing. That's still doing the same thing. Go ahead. Or engage in witchcraft. Yeah. Or cast spells. Yeah. Or function as medium. As a what? As medium. You're functioning as a medium. Because if, if your uh, medium is literally in between, you're in between the. You're saying you're in between God, uh, so and then the what person is you're the talking reason? to. What are you guys doing? What are we doing? You're bringing the word of God, are you not? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. But we're doing it through the means that we're doing it through the... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me ask you a question. Let me let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, right? You asked what we were doing, right? Right. We're functioning within the means which the Lord told us to do. The Lord told us to come out here and bid people to the marriage. The Lord told us to use his scripture to bring people to this marriage. He didn't tell us to grit... Tur uh, tarot cards, tarot cards, right? And then act as some kind of medium to talk between God and that person. He didn't tell us to do that. That's what I'm telling you out of the scriptures. And the Bible strictly condemns that in three in three of these, right? 
fortune telling and get, interpreting omens, right, and acting as a medium. Read verse 11 again. Or, it's a, an, an omen. Read it. Do I mean 18 and verse 11, or cast spells, yeah. or function as medium, yeah. or psychics, yeah. or call forth the spirits of the dead. Do you do that? I don't do any of okay, that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Do Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. They're what? Is detestable to the Lord. So, brother, doing that, you, you make yourself detestable to the Lord. And does not the Bible also say to practice in private and to not be doing any of this? I don't. I don't like when people say also, like because it, it basically disregards what we just. Ho, ho, yes, you did. yes, you did. I said, does it not say also? That's what you said. It is. Does he not say also? That's exactly but what you, you said. Not, I'm saying, are you not? If I'm saying that I'm bringing a message to somebody about themselves, that maybe the universe or God wants to wants them to hear, and that's what you guys are doing. That's as well, not what we're doing. You're God. acting. You're acting like a medium. That's what you're doing. Like what, what we do as far as reading the Bible, reading God's word, and giving it to people is not the same as you trying to act like a witch with freaking tarot cards. I'm not casting. Spells, bro. I'm You're not, acting like a medium. I'm not bringing omens. I'm not any of that. Please Google that. Go, Google what a uh, return a medium is. Please do that. Please do that. I don't I, like none of that. Shit. And, and what's your answer to that? What's your ethnicity? What's my ethnicity? What is your ethnicity? I'm mostly Irish, and, which is where I picked up the tradition of tarot to begin with. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother was Mexican. Your grandmother was Mexican. Yeah, yeah. So your father was a white man? He was half Mexican and half white. What was his father? White. Nice. What was his father? Everybody besides my grandmother white. was Irish. Yeah, yeah. White. White right, people. Right. Okay, so, matter of fact, disregard everything I just said, continue in doing that. <laughs> continue in doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, okay, so I deserve punishment. Yes, for, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, of, like, because, of, like, because of this, you're going to get that, yeah. That right there. Right. Be because of this, any of that. your people did this. So those people will be punished. No, you will be punished. You and them will be punished. All y'all together well, is going to What about Jesus punished. sacrificing himself for the sins of all people? He didn't sacrifice himself for the sins of all people. That's something you oh, said. Oh, okay. Give me, so give me Acts chapter 5, verse 21, 31. People. No. <laughs> Not at, is this a black man? Am I? I'm not no, no, answer that, answer that question. Answer right that here. question. Is this a black man? Am I a white no, man? No, no, just answer that question. Is he a black man? No. Then why would you make such a ridiculous statement? I'm Confoundment, right? Now go ahead and get this. Give me Acts chapter 5. In the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the Just other... Read the, get the point. Verse 30. The God of our fathers... The God of our fathers, go ahead. Raised up Jesus, yeah. whom you slew and hanged on a tree. Mm -hmm. Him hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince yeah. and a savior for to give repentance... To Israel. So Christ died to give repentance to Israel, not anybody Only else. To Israel. That's what, is that not what is that not what the verse said? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to have a conversation. I mean, I mean, I am. I'm just saying. You asked me the question. You asked me I'm something contrary to what it did. Okay, let me clarify. I understand what it said. Got you. Let me clarify. It's only for Israel, according to this verse and many oh, others. Oh yeah. And yeah. So I'm wondering who can tell whether or not they were descended from Israel. Job Nate. It depends on who you. It depends on who you descend from. Right. We know. We know the Israelites. We know the, the Israelites, right? The people on this side, right? right? right. They got dispersed into captivities. And, and, and hold up, let me finish. You already trying to talk. You already trying to talk, right? They got these people on this side. The Black Spanish Native Americans got dispersed into various captivities. Right, we right. got. They got shipped. They got uh, uh, shipped on slave ships. That's a curse in Deuteronomy. They're in. They're in. Uh, prison houses that's also something that's supposed to happen to the israelites they're also they also built up a land and didn't reap any benefits of it that's also in deuteronomy chapter 28 their wives got raped their children got sure, taken sure. and they're still taken all these things are things that's supposed to happen to the israelites blacks hispanics and native americans fit that to a t absolutely white men don't do that i'm not hispanic though no you I'm are who you are you are who your father is no you are who your father is that's why I, read this verse you got you got joe Get this. Give me the Bible does not believe that you from your The mother. book of Job, chapter Watch 8 it. and verse 8. For I inquire, I pray thee, mm -hmm. of the former age, yeah. and prepare thyself to search of their father. Search of who? Of their father. That's why I ask you who your father's father's right, father, because right. the father plants the seed. When you plant a seed anywhere in the world, hold up, hold up. When you plant a seed anywhere in the world, it grows what? 
that plant, correct? Right, right. If I plant an apple seed here in America, it grows an apple plant. Yes, if I plant it in a, in a seed in Japan, it's still going to be an apple tree, right? Right. It but might look a little different. That's not how human beings works. Either way, if that's not, if not, if that's not, oh, hold, hold, hold it. If, if that's the not, land where you plant your seed. yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah, yes. And, and like, and, and then, can you tell me scientifically why that's wrong? They, like, they always do this thing where you gotta just assume science is 100 percent correct, but they can't even explain it to you. That's why he walked off. Explain how I'm wrong. <laughs> like, you got, you got painted nails. I, like, you walk off with me like I'm foolish, but you came out here with tarot cards and painted nails and a, and a damn skirt on. <laughs> that's crazy. Give me, give me uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 11. And the only reason why people are set to do that is because everything is turned upside goddamn down, bro. Everything is upside down. <laughs> give me this. The book, book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 11. Is that 29 verse 11? Oh, 16. 16 and verse... Uh, Isaiah chapter 29 verse 16. Surely your thing, uh, surely your turning of things upside down yeah. shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Shall be what? Shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So it's gonna it's saying right here, there's gonna be a future time, right, where things are gonna be turned upside down. Things are just backwards here, and people just assume that the world was just made that way. People just assume whatever the white man's science says, it's been like that forever. Right. The white man, the white man can't even decide on if. If margarine or butter is healthier than than the, than the latter, right? They they, they, they flip flop every two every goddamn two years. They can't tell if Pluto is a planet, right? They, they, it is, and then it ain't. That it is, and then it ain't. They, and science keeps flipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They can't even they can't even decide on something. But since they are Lucifer, right? We're gonna talk about this again. Since they are Lucifer. Right, the light bearers. Everybody looks at the white man for knowledge of anything. Everybody just believes it. Right. If the white man said so, it's true. If, white, if the white man said Jesus was a white man, you believe Jesus is a white man. That's what y'all believe. I think these be the same people who want to say we're wrong for saying they got to pay for it. We're wrong for that. They get to continue to rape and rob every single person on the planet. Right, establish their kingdom. And then just say, oh, it's okay. You can do whatever you want now. You, you, you can pull yourself up by your bootstraps. When you created this entire construct where we have to be at the bottom. But the Hebrew Israelites are somehow wrong. Give me Ezekiel 30, 35. The, the Hebrew Israelites are now somehow wrong for saying the Lord is going to be a just God and judge them for that. Right. That's crazy. We're terrorists for saying the Lord's going to actually do something for the rape and robbery for your people. We're terrorists. You want to lock us up. You want to get us fired from our jobs. You want to say we're evil and wicked. We just read the book. That is nuts. Read the boy. Read the book of Ezekiel chapter 35 from the top. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against, prophesy against it. Prophesy against, against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is where the Edomites dwell. This is a representation of this prophecy going specifically to them. Go ahead. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee. He's a what? I am against thee. The Lord is against the so-called white man. The right. Lord is against the Edomites of the right. Bible. He hates y'all, and it's for a good reason. He hated y'all before y'all was even born. Right. But now he has even more reason to because of what you do to his people and the whole planet. He says he's going to destroy those who destroy the earth. Y'all do that. Right. Y'all destroy his people on top of that. Y'all destroy yourselves. Y'all merciless murderers of children, like the Bible says. This is nuts. The Lord is against y'all. Read this. And I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Yeah. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Then you shall know, then you're going to know the Lord, because the, the Lord is known by what? His judgments. Right. He's known by his judgments. He's going to leave y'all desolate. So just like I said, because of this sign, what is white supremacy? 
chattel slavery, the black codes, the KKK, the Jim Crow laws, the black Wall Street massacre, and redlining that results in a depravity and a disinvestment of our people. Since y'all did that, all those things, this has to happen. Big fat white Esau right here has to take his ass into captivity. And Esau, just like how Jacob represents all of the 12 tribes, Esau represents all of y'all, man. That's right. Hey, y'all believe in God? You don't, you don't know? Hey, 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 at least you're honest. You don't know, right? I'm going to let y'all know that Hispanics are God's chosen people. That's right. And y'all need to repent and keep the commandments. That's how you believe in God. That's what our people need to do. At some point, we got to, like, bro, we got to start just, like, people want to start using logic and critical thinking, right? Logic, these two, two things niggas hate. Logic and critical thinking. We got to start using those two things, man. Logically, we're in a messed up state. Logically, there's nothing we can do as far as us getting a certain amount of money to save ourselves out of this state. Critical thinking would be like, oh, wait a minute. We tried everything else. We tried Malcolm X. We tried holding the hands with this guy right here and, and his abomination of a wife. We tried doing all those things. Right? Why don't we try something we've never done before, which is keep the commandments of God? That's critical thinking. He says it's, it's the same people who we're trying to preach to are going to go on, on slavery, on slave ships, right? You're going to be in prison houses. Your wives are going to get, stu- gonna get uh, uh, taken from you. You're going to be in madness and blindness. All these things you can... Give me Deuteronomy 30. All these things you see are happening to you. That's using logic and critical thinking. Get this. Yes. Deuteronomy chapter 30 from the top. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse, yeah. which I have said before thee. The blessing and the curse. We ain't seen the blessing yet, but we sure have seen the curses. We sure have seen our women hate each other right. for no reason. We sure have seen our men hate each other for no reason. Right. We've seen ourselves get murdered by the police for no reason. These are the curses. Critical thinking, black people and Hispanic people, is that we fit this. We are the true children of God. Right. We are the Jews. We are the children of Israel. Right. We're not black. Black means nothing. African American means nothing. Afro American means nothing. Hispanic means nothing, except being being owned by Spain. Right. Are you still owned by Spain? Ah. So why are you calling yourselves that? It means absolutely nothing. And hell, Native American means nothing because it's it, what 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 purpose uh, what purpose does it serve calling yourself that when a white man gets to walk around and freaking walk on your bones, take things. Uh, 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 put you in the armpit of America, right. call these reservations, and the worst part, and, and then have your only water source, right, ran through with oil pipelines that leak oil that's, that's, that you cannot drink, right, leaks it into your water source and poison you. God. What is there to be proud of here? What is there to be proud of in America? At some point, we got to use uh, uh, logic and critical thinking skills. Right. You learn that in elementary. You learn that in middle school. You learn, especially in that in high school. At some point, when are we going to start using those things? Read this. What's that? What, what about what about Jesus? She said, right. What is this? We're 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 destroying your your false white Christ. That's what we're that's what we're gonna do. We're throwing it in the trash can like a menstruous rag. That's, right. that's what we're doing. Read this. It says, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations, it's like among all the nations, whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. That's critical thinking skills.